Got my gear all packed up, as you can see, ready to go. There's a, uh, the weather forecast is calling for thunderstorms. It's pretty humid out there. So we'll see how tonight goes. Anyway, I'm off to La Manche for tonight. So uh, stay tuned to see what happens. Made it to La Manche, it wasn't too bad. The uh, rain didn't hit too hard and it's just pecking right now, off and on. It's uh, not too bad, getting my uh, camp set up. I got a tarp up now so I can uh, at least have a place to sit and stay dry at once uh, the rain kicks in later. Got her all set up. Here, I'll show you around. Still a little wet. <laughs> it's gonna be wet for a while. Eh, got my tent set up. It's a pretty good setup. Little spot out there I can hang out if it rains. Got my gear hung up drying out a bit anyway and we'll probably won't dry fully but at least it'll uh, take care of some of the wetness from it fire pit for later and a decent view from my spot here to get some firewood nobody around I hate waiting well I've been here for about a half an hour or so waiting on uh, the guy to come back and open up the firewood but uh, he must be gone for supper or something so I guess I'm going to go without a fire tonight I was hoping for one but uh, that's it I can't wait around any longer so yeah I'm back here waiting for firewood. <laughs> I got back to my campsite and uh, I could smell wood burning from the, a neighboring site. So that was it. It, it gave me the craving for a fire. So anyway, after last week having a bad experience waiting um, for a meal, I thought I'd try and be a bit more patient this evening. Although it's been over an hour now, so my patience is kind of running thin. And of course, it's one of those situations where I worry if uh, if I go back to the site, 
they'll show up. And of course, that leaves me the dilemma. Do I leave or do I go? Because if I stay, I don't know how long it's going to be. And of course, it's one of those situations where if I go, in the back of my mind, I'm going to wonder, did he show up as soon as I left? <sighs> Decisions. Yeah, it's kind of putting a damper on my, uh, on my night out, though. I should have just put the thoughts of a fire right out of my head altogether. All right, after my last clip, I think it was 30 seconds later he showed up, so I'm glad I didn't take off. And guess what? I got wood. all the frogs. All right, let's see if I can get this going before, before the rain kicks in. I think I got her. We'll see. So I gotta confess, uh, it took a couple tries to get that fire going. Wasn't having much luck. It was going for a few seconds and then it would die out again once it got through those little tiny slivers. So I got impatient. I know I could have got it going eventually, but I decided to get creative and use this. Put a little bit of that on little pieces of the wood and it it flamed right up right away and caught right away. So there's my little life hack. <laughs> as long as you got hand sanitizer, you can start a fire. Well, I wasn't gonna come because of the humidity. Not so much the rain, but the humidity. And I'm glad I did come because out this way, there is hardly any humidity. The rain's been stopped for quite a while and it's uh, actually pretty good here. At least I'm getting to enjoy the evening. It may rain again before the night is out, but that's fine. I'll be in the sleeping bag inside the tent. And I won't have to worry about that until I get out of bed in the morning. So at least by the weather clearing up for a while, I can actually sit back and enjoy a fire. Which definitely adds to the, uh, the whole ambiance of camping.
am I the only one who does a sound test when I set up? I have my Bluetooth speaker going and I'm somebody who hates disturbing others. So I always walk around, see how far from the speaker I can still hear it and see if it's a adequate distance between me and the neighbors here. One thing I noticed, especially since I got a nice bright tent, is see how close the fire is to the tent. I, I figured it'd be perfect distance, but there's a slight breeze, not much, but it's enough to blow sparks over this way. You can see all the, uh, as soon as you rub it, it gets really filthy and dirty, see? Soot. Anyway. It's only right there. I figured that was good. All right, confession time. I'm an idiot when it comes to buying stuff off Amazon. I figured since I'm out doing this, I wanted to figure out ways I could pack lighter and save some weight and space and that kind of a thing. So uh, I have the old uh, military style uh, sleeping bag. So I figured I'd order a nice uh, three season one nice backpacking one that's uh, that's nice and compact and light so I ordered that from Amazon got it home took it out and it's probably twice as heavy as my uh, military one and it's twice as big and it was taking up more space so that was a failure and uh, then I didn't find out until this evening when I pumped it up, but I decided I want to get a smaller air mattress, one that's still nice and thick, because uh, I find it the thickness of it makes a difference to my shoulders. And uh, so anyway, uh, I ordered one that was a smaller. I had a double at home, and uh, so I ordered the single. I think it was, yeah, single. And I inflated it and put it in the tent, and I think maybe I gained about an inch in, in the width, and that's it. So. Uh, that's two items I just bought that was a total waste of money. Oh wow, well, that's it. I got a spare mattress and a spare sleeping bag now. Basement to aperture, frenzied ambulation, mongrel fixated, cerebration to rumination, cosmos reeling, swimming by the portal, zoetrope of life, faltering with sorrow, flower to potion, inside to out, leisurely exhale, a reprieve so devout, breath of existence, Desires reawakened, madness abided, 
neurosis unshaken. One thing I forgot about when I sat down here was how much the heat from that fire changes the effects of this. It uh, makes us kick in a little harder, which is all right. I'm good. Just enjoying the fire. Yeah. You know who is great to listen to when you're medicated? Billie Eilish. Trust me. Throw on a nice set of headphones and uh, listen to Billie Eilish. She's uh, pretty mellow and it, uh, it's, it goes well with uh, medicating. Just put it that way. Starting to rain a little bit, so I decided to move underneath my tarp. Fire's still going, still enjoying that. Uh, one of the things I'm starting to wonder about this tarp now is if it's going to drive me nuts when I go to, oh shit, mosquito biting me. Sorry. Is if it's gonna drive me nuts uh, while I'm trying to sleep, because uh, every now and then the wind is blowing up through the uh, opening there, and when it catches the, uh, the tarp, it just makes that loud, flapping tarp sounds, especially where it's that old cheap, uh, I don't know, whatever it's made out of. Hear it? Yeah, that crap. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I could end up tearing this down yet. <laughs> That's it. The last of the wood is on. It is what it is now. Perfect timing because it's raining a little. This sucks, gotta go pee. Now, to find a bush. <gasps> oh, lots of bushes around. We're good. Reminds me of when I used to be in the military. <laughs> well, I figured out a way to keep this from flapping. A bungee cord and a branch. <laughs> Just enough to take away that flapping sound. Well, ready to shut her down now. I, uh, been in here in the tent for a couple hours now. I've, uh, watched an episode of Nancy Drew on, uh, Amazon Prime, and, uh, I had an episode of Lu uh, Loki downloaded, but for some reason it wasn't working on Disney Plus. So that sucks. Oh well. And, uh, and then in, in the meantime, I've been listening to an audiobook um, Midnight Library, I think it's called. Yeah, can't remember. 
Honestly, I don't really know much what it's about. I just know that it's uh, keeping me entertained and helps me fall asleep. I don't know, that's probably not a good thing if you're trying to follow an audiobook or anything like that. I, I don't know. Well, so far it's been fairly quiet here. Uh, anybody else camping is uh, not partying too hard. The, uh, the frogs are non-stop, though. That's all I hear is them croaking all evening. Um, I'd sooner have crickets. I like the sound of crickets when I'm falling asleep. Frogs, not so much, because they're just, like, gulping all the time or croaking or whatever you want to call it. They're just, uh, just being annoying. There was a duck out there earlier, too. I could hear them out there, uh, quacking or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. One of my first thoughts uh, when I heard all the frogs uh, was, oh crap, if we get a lot of rain, that they'll all end up uh, coming up around the tent. And I figured I'd uh, wake up in the morning and step out to a bunch of uh, frogs hopping around everywhere, kind of like in one of those uh, biblical apocalyptic uh, scenarios or something. Yeah, I know. The uh, the cannabis oil is kicking in. It's a good thing that nobody here knows me uh, or knows I'm in this tent by myself because if they walk by, they're going to hear me talking away, rambling away to myself, nobody else. And they know I'm not talking on the phone because there's no bloody cell reception here whatsoever. I think there's one little spot right by the uh, the office at the gate where you can actually get a bar, I think it is. I've seen one lady there. She was there for about a half an hour earlier with her hand, with her phone held up and texting or messaging somebody. That was while I was waiting for my firewood. Yeah, that was uh, fun. But I got to say, I am very glad that I did get that firewood because... Uh, it, uh, it kept me occupied all all evening, all night. Like uh, a couple other nights when I was camping, uh, I had the sunset to watch, and I could just watch it uh, go down. Actually, every other time I went, there was a nice sunset to watch. But here I'm in a campground. There's a nice little pond nearby, uh, but no sunset. So the uh, fire kept me busy, gave me something to, to watch, to observe, to just... Uh, relax in front of, I guess, is one way to put it. Um, yeah, I had that fire going probably a good four or five hours at least. And, uh, you know, it was just as fun as sitting down watching a hockey game. So earlier I said I was an idiot for ordering uh, an air mattress that was pretty much the same size as the other one I had. Well, I am happy with this air mattress, and there's a couple of reasons. One, it is just a little, tiny little bit lighter, and it packs a little bit smaller, so saving a little bit of space and weight, which is no big deal since uh, I'm usually going to be carrying it or lugging it around on the motorcycle anyway. But uh, this mattress is uh, is actually thicker, and... Uh, and where it's not as wide, it's only a couple inches, but uh, it actually allows me to use it as a seat inside the tent. So I'm kind of getting in, shove, shove my RC in first, and uh, while I'm taking my shoes and stuff like that off, it's, uh, it keeps me off the ground about eight inches or so. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it now. So I'm okay. So I'm only half an idiot for the, uh, for the sleeping bag. No fancy breakfast tomorrow morning for me. I uh, kind of uh, not, never got lazy. I just kind of expected the rainy, wet weather, and I wasn't really in the mood to fire up a frying pan and fry some eggs and stuff in the rain. But uh, So it's only going to be a couple of uh, those heavenly hunks uh, you get from uh, Costco. They're kind of like uh, energy balls, except they're like cubes those are awesome anyway that'll be my breakfast two of those and a uh, protein bar with some coffee yeah even though this time i'm in a campground and not uh, not near the ocean uh, uh, if you listen over the frogs 
croaking. There's a little tiny waterfall um, a few hundred meters away that I can kind of uh, hear. And it's, uh, it's like a little tiny bit of white noise in the background. And it kind of got the, the beach sound to it. So, uh, so I think I'm good with that. So just like the last time I went camping, uh, I didn't want to come this time either. And it had nothing to really to do with, uh, with the weather. Yeah, that was kind of nagging at me, I guess, in a sense. Uh, I don't know, just thinking about coming out into pouring rain and setting up and you're already soaked and all that. And really, it it's not necessary. It's just uh, something that I wanted to do, kind of. <laughs> it was to kind of, I don't know, just to add a bit more excitement or to, just to be a bit more adventurous, I guess, in a way. But um, oh, now I forget what I was saying because I rambled. Hang on, I'm going to hit pause. Yes, I didn't want to come. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm always like that. I just, uh, like, I'll plan things. I want to do things. Uh, but as soon as they arrive and it's time to do them, I was like, I just panic and just want to get, get away and nothing to do with it. I just want to just uh, pretend I never even heard about it or planned it or thought it up or, or whatever. And that's, uh, it's, it's like anything, like, uh, yeah, let's, we should have a family barbecue. And as soon as you agree to it, it's like, oh, crap, we're going to have a family barbecue. I got to socialize with everybody. And that's kind of where the head goes. And, uh, yeah, it's the same thing with this. Just, uh, once today came, I just didn't want to do it. I like the idea of coming. And, uh, but once the time comes I just uh, sooner just stay home but now that I'm out here it's it's good I'm good again and same thing as each other time I come out I'm always good so that's why I kind of keep forcing myself and uh, and I'm starting to learn how my mind thinks now it's like we got this multiple personality thing going on I think one mind is aware of what's going on and the other one's trying to prevent it from happening or, <laughs> or whatever so yeah it's like a tug of war going on back and forth and again i know the benefits of being out here um it's uh like i said last time it's nothing to do with wanting to get away from my wife or my son or my dog or my neighbors or anything like that um yeah that's being away from responsibilities and uh, things like that is is refreshing you kind of feel good anyway when you get away from I don't know you, the chores that you got to do or the responsibilities you have and uh, and once you get away it's uh, it is nice it's a nice feeling but uh, that's not the main reason it's just uh, coming out just allows me to I don't know how to explain it. It's like when I'm home and in other situations I dwell on things and and uh, I just stew on things and focus on things that are not doing any good for me. And uh, when I'm out here, I, I don't know what it is. It's just different. I don't know if it's just being outdoors in nature or what, but... It could be anything. It could be everything, like, from you're pulling in, you're trying to figure out, okay, which way should I park my motorcycle? And then you get off, and you look around, all right, I want to set up my tent, and I'm going to have a tarp. What's the best way to do this? So you're kind of focused on those things, and then once you get set up, uh, you go out and got to go get some firewood, and then you get your firewood, and you got to try to light your fire. Once you light your fire, you're going to put a coffee on, and, and it... And then you're going to grab something to eat and just plus taking a few pictures and a few videos and every now and then chatting like it all distracts and it distracts in a positive way. It's there's so many other things that I could be doing that uh, to take my attention away from things that I don't want to be focusing on. And uh, yeah, there's so many 
worse, worse things to be doing than just out here in the middle of the woods, laying in a tent, talking to my phone, which is pretty much what I'm doing. But yeah, it's, um, uh, it forces me to disconnect because most places like this one I have no internet, uh, no cell service whatsoever. So it's not like I can get out and check Facebook and, and stuff like that. Although I did have my movie that I watched or a TV show. But hey, that's a small uh, small luxury, which is okay. And uh, I don't know, just being out here, just uh, not surrounded by city lights and yeah you get occasional vehicles going by but it's not like uh being in st john's or anything like that and uh it's just um i don't know it's just peaceful that's uh that's pretty much what it is and uh it's uh yeah it's doing something and uh which is why i gotta keep doing it anyway i'm gonna shut her down here now um because I'm rambling on, I'm talking way too much. I'm looking at the timer on my phone here, and it says that I got like 12 minutes of chatting going on right now. And uh, so I don't know, maybe I'm doing this wrong, because I know initially my videos that I would share were just the nature, just the surroundings, just the bike, and... And that kind of a thing with no talking and then eventually they became just a little bit of talking with um, mostly videos and stuff and uh, but the last couple I've been talking more and I don't know if that's a good thing or not I know it's helps me it helps because I'm getting things out and saying stuff and uh, kind of being opening opening yeah being open opening up yeah <laughs> Yeah, the Zappa clone is starting to kick in now. So uh, I'm going to become incoherent here pretty soon. And my rambling is going to get a lot worse. So I'm going to go before that happens. And I'll see you in the morning. Probably bright and early. Most likely bright and early. I wonder will there be a crow here this time. Because the last two times I didn't sleep well. And it was because of a darn crow would uh, be just like in a tree right next to where I put my tent and uh, it'd be just crowing and cawing and driving me nuts. My luck, that's probably what's going to happen in the morning. Although those frogs are just as loud as a crow. Damn frogs. Yeah, anyway, good night. See you in the morning. Well, I survived the night. I think my chances of survival were pretty good from the beginning. It's not like I was gonna freeze to death and uh, I got a shelter over my head and I got a couple protein bars, so it's not like I'm gonna starve either. I'd be good here for two weeks before I, uh, before I succumb to starvation, I think. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, I slept better last night. A little bit of rain coming down. The frogs weren't too bad. Actually, it was almost 8 o'clock before I woke up. So it's about 8 o'clock now. And uh, a little bit of rain coming down, as you can hear. So uh, it's going to be uh, interesting making some coffee. I guess I could just stay in here and just make it in one of those little vestibule things. Either way, i got to get in and go. Get moving. I don't really want to, but uh, it's one of those things you got to, I guess.
These are great. I started using these in the field when I was in the military. I used to take baby wipes with me for a quick cleaning. Great for removing cam paint and all that other stuff. But they definitely come in handy on motorcycle rides and especially camping trips for the same reason. Just uh, give yourself a little wipe. Yeah, that's it. Breakfast is on. <laughs> The rain definitely sounded a lot worse in the tent because it's barely even falling down, which is good. It gives me a chance to enjoy my coffee and that without having to pack up in a rush. These things here are to die for. They're uh, heavenly hunks from Costco. Don't know why I brought so many with me because I'm only an hour away from home. It's not like I'm going to starve before I get there. But you know, it's all about the experience. To be 10 minutes from home and setting up a tent, hanging out out here, living off the wild. <laughs> Not much left to that wood. All packed up and ready to go. It's crazy how much you can pack on a motorcycle if you want. 